Mira, papi, please. Aquí. Luis King Kong Ortiz says that Joe Joyce is a liar. And he could get that work. And I'm going to talk about that in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Listen, don't know how you found the video. Somehow, some way, you found a video. And help others and encourage others to find this video who are looking for the same content by hitting the like button. Free, simple, quick gesture goes a long way. Now, this story is a bit weird, and I had to talk about it, because you know I'm a big fan of Luis King Kong Ortiz's work. And I read maybe a week ago that Joe Joyce said that Luis Ortiz ducked him and didn't want smoke. And I thought that whole situation was weird, knowing Luis Ortiz fought the most dangerous, even per Tyson Fury, the most dangerous heavyweight in the world. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Walter from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, my God fought him twice so i'm like why would he not want to fight you know anybody else it just didn't make sense now king kong ortiz luis ortiz's team have fired back on these allegations that they were ducking this is what they said quote that was an option to fight joseph parker but he obviously is going to fight Derek chisora and there were a few more names ortiz was mentioned but i'm not sure that he wants to smoke but there are other names around the, the area. We'll see what we can get. Yeah, Luis Ortiz, he didn't want a war. So that's what Joe Joyce had to say, right? Then King Kong heard this or read the article and he was like, what? And this is their response. Joe Joyce is a liar and it's very embarrassing to him as a man and as a boxer because at no time... Has he spoke to me or Jay Jimenez, his manager, or his coach, Herman? We at King Kong Boxing, so Luis Ortiz, we at Luis Ortiz Boxing Camp would love to know who this little ego man spoke to. It sounds like they're talking about me, but they're not. Who this little ego man spoke to and why he would lie when he knows full well that Luis King Kong Ortiz has never turned down a fight in his life. Our camps don't even have communication or have even, we don't even have each other's phone numbers, right? He says, I'm going to return on Gervonta Tank Davis's undercard and I would like nothing more than to fight Joe Joyce. You said, I don't want a war. Well, now I'm inviting you to a war. What's your excuse now, lion Joe? Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. See, this seems to be happening often in boxing where boxers say one thing and then their team does another thing or says another thing. So it all just gets kind of crazy, right? Like, for example, Joseph Jojo Diaz publicly said he would fight Devin Haney. Publicly went back and forth with Devin Haney, say, hey, fight me October, November. Yeah, but clearly somewhere in that chain, they don't want joseph jojo diaz to fight devin haney be it the fighter his manager his promoter mtk you know oscar and go to what somewhere and that's apparent and i've made videos about that so it just looks crazy because the fighters say yeah 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 sign me up but then somewhere else it, it happens to they be they happen to be held back ryan garcia same thing you can even use devin haney or gervonta he's saying he wants to fight but somewhere in that chain there's a link missing all right and it could be the same here with joe joyce i don't know exactly what went on but joe joyce he's saying that luis king kong ortiz ducked and it just it sounded when i first read that it sounded abnormal here's why i've been in boxing so long so i re my memory is crazy i remember I've been at fights. I've, I've been to Joe Joyce fights when he fought in America on the Deontay Wilder undercard. And I've been to several Luis Ortiz fights. So, you know, I've been and covered all these guys' fights. And the thing is, Joe Joyce literally was with Abel Sanchez. And they admitted this is literally when he was fighting. When Wilder fought Tyson Fury, he was on the undercard. Joe Joyce was. Actually, they both might have been on the undercard, to be honest. 
So I went to that fight and they were both on the undercard. And the question of Joe Joyce fighting Abel Sanchez, now be it, it was before the Daniel Dubois performance, but at that time, his then trainer and team Joe Joyce said he's not ready yet. They said that Joe Joyce wasn't ready for a guy like Luis Ortiz. So to hear, you know, a few later, a few years later, hear that Joe Joyce was accusing Luis Ortiz of ducking, that just didn't make sense, especially when, if anything, as I just mentioned, Joe Joyce was the one who his team at any point said that they weren't ready for Luis Ortiz. So why would Luis Ortiz be cowardly now? It just didn't make sense. He he got knocked out by Wilder twice, the second fight, but then he came back and got a first round knockout. And it just, none of that made sense. 40 years old, 41. No, I'm asking how old is he? He's a lot older than me. I think, I think he's a lot older than me. Listen, listen to me. Joe, 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 Joe brings the heat for, for he, he, that pace that he set in the first round. I promise you, he, get, he, he just he can maintain that pace and he's got another gear in him. I think Luis Ortiz's old legs would need some WD-40 on them for that, that fight. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's factual. He would, he would put him out. I'm, I'm telling you that. What round? I'm not saying he walked round. I'm just saying he would punch his face in. I'm, I really do believe that. But it's neither here nor there. At the end of the day, Luis Ortiz is calling Joe Joyce out. To my knowledge, Joe Joyce does not have a fight. This is an amazing fight. Gervonta Tank Davis is a knockout artist. And then you have two guys at heavyweight with power. Let's see if Joe Joyce will step up and take this Luis King Kong Ortiz. And that's the other reason why it doesn't really make sense in the world of boxing to lie on somebody and say they're down to fight because clearly when it gets back to them or their team, they're going to call your bluff and they're going to say, yo, let's good. Like, what's good? You know what I'm saying? You said this, this, and that. Let's scrap. So I guess the ball's in the court of Sam Jones and Joe Joyce. I never believed that Luis Ortiz would duck Joe Joyce, especially if you look at his, his even his last performance. I, I mean, it just there's nothing about it that looks like Luis Ortiz would duck Joe Joyce. I, I, I don't see it. So in the here and now, make the fight. Luis Ortiz has responded. He said, I don't know who you talked to, but you got your information messed up. I'll give you a war and we could do it on Tank's fight in December. Let's see what they say. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Great fight if it happens. I'm not optimistic that it will happen because I don't think that you just look at the UK matchmaking as a whole, you know, and that tells you everything you need to know. Daniel Dubois, outside of the Joe Joyce fight, he fought guys like Luis Ortiz had already beat, like Raz Kojano. You know, Joe Joyce, outside of the Dubois fight, his best fight, fought guys Deontay Wilder already beat, like Bermain Stavern. And Wilder knocked him out crazy in the first round. You know, things like that. So I think the UK has to get a lot tougher with the matchmaking. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. And I'm out.